It is no secret that the market has been a wild ride lately. With the Federal Reserve preparing to cut the rate and the mixed signal from unemployment and inflation data in August, the market is full of uncertainty and we are getting conflicting messages. More importantly, as investors, we would like to make some adjustment to the portfolio to protect ourselves. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Earlier of the year 2024, I was extremely bullish to the market by going into options and more technology stocks, including the Magnificent 7. So from January to June, it was paying off with green all the way. My portfolio was up by at least 30%, but the late July heat and the August was really painful. My value was down by at least 10%. And I don't know how long it's going to continue this trend or it will be recovering soon. I feel like the market is driven by fear because of a recession's indicator. Anyway, in this video, I would like to share my personal view on how to rebalance my portfolio during this time of volatility in 2024. There is another hot event coming on, is the president election in November. This will further drive volatility because of the uncertainty. Well, we do not know which party will win. And this will definitely have some effect in certain sectors like technology, financial, EV or healthcare. Those are just speculating uh, which sector will be performing better, right? But before I start, I would need to understand my current position. So to assess my current portfolio, I listed down and understand majority 80% is exposed to US for potential growth, which is fine. And 20% is in Singapore for stability. Both currency are strong. By sector wise, 38% are in ETF exchange traded fund. This is a well diversified and low risk uh, long term investment strategy. And another 37% are in technology stocks, including the Magnificent Seven like Apple, Google, Microsoft, Meta, Nvidia. But I already sold off all my Tesla and Amazon stocks. And 24% are in financial stocks. Majority are Singapore banks like DBS. OCBC and UOB, those are very stable, uh, large companies and provide good dividend rate. And very minority uh, is in entertainment or uh, REITs. Okay, so here are my three steps plan. First step is, I would like to diversify further. So meaning I would like to allocate more to the exchange traded fund. Exchange traded funds like S&P 500, they contain 500 large cap companies in the US and it constantly make adjustments based on their uh, capitalization and certain criteria. And it has been proven this is a solid long-term investment strategy if we are able to hold up for long term and the historical return are around 7-9% to 9 annually. It doesn't require constant uh, monitoring, uh, it is like a passive investment low, with low expense ratio which I think it is worth to put more into ETF if you want to, uh, you want a very free um, investment strategy, especially during this time of volatility, right? And my second step is uh, to make some assets, to have a clear asset plan on my current portfolios. So if you notice, most of the stocks now are trading at their all-time high, not only the tech stock, but uh, even the normal uh, consumables and healthcare stock, they are going up and up at their all-time high. So with the events like election and rate cuts, this, we are expecting another market correction, uh, maybe temporarily, but we do not know when. So I realized that uh, I do not have a clear asset strategy when I start investing. It is okay. And right now I would probably set a personal target like let's say at 30 or 50% gain of the stock and try to sell half of the number of stocks to realize the gain. 
because unrealized gain is just paper gain, right? You will never be able to uh, use it. And every time you see the market going up, you just don't feel like you want to sell and you're hoping it will to continue. But sometimes like sudden heat like July because of the because of the change of policy in the Bank of Japan, this is something unpredictable and has caused a sudden dip. That will be a good time to buy in uh, undervalue and fair value stock, actually. But if we do not have the cash reserve like to set aside to prepare for this, it will be a wasted opportunity. So for right now, I will set some clear exit strategies to realize some of the profit from the tech stock majority so I can lower down my exposures in this tech sector. And my last step, step three, is to diversify into some defensive stock like healthcare, uh, consumer discretionary and utility. Well, I think um, I may not be very familiar with those sectors, but healthcare and consumables are something that we will always be consuming even during recession or economic downturn, right? Like we still we have to go to buy medicine and buy food. So this stock used to hold up better during the volatility, uh, volatile times. Well, I can look into uh, my surrounding just to make some research uh, within my circle of competence. Or another way will be easier is to buy in sector focused ETF like healthcare. Um, so it will be quite diversified and not only exposed to a certain stock with high concentration risk. And of course, uh, we can make reference to uh, the Bersaia Hotway as a location by Warren Buffett because he used to play strong defensive um, into buying some utility and healthcare stock. He always set aside a lot of cash reserves to make strategy investment during the market corrections. This is a good example. Well, just my personal view, uh, there is no certainty on the result of the election as we mentioned uh, because whoever win will definitely drive volatility for a short period and we can see whatever Mr. Donald Trump say right will cause impact on certain stock like recently he mentioned uh, that Taiwan has stolen a business semiconductor business of America and this has driven TSM Taiwan semiconductor stock by down and of course now it's slightly uh, recovering and also the CEO of uh, Tesla Elon Musk when he expressed his support to uh, Donald Trump his stock has been on an up, upward trend so on the list these are not driven by the fundamental or a uh, good earning release but rather by the news so the market is reacting towards news this will not last long so as a long-term or medium-term investor, it is better to buy the stock that we truly believe in, buy at the fair value, so that we can uh, continue to make uh, some profit along the way. Anyway, these are just my uh, personal opinion. Just a disclaimer, this is not an advice on how to invest. And please do your own homework. Make sure you have set aside emergency funds and have enough uh, liquidity to cover your short-term needs before investing. Yeah, these are just my three-step plan to adjust my current portfolio. And uh, please comment below if you have a different view and share with us how do you plan to rebalance your portfolio. And is it okay? Uh, our strategy may be different because of our different uh, risk appetite and time horizon, right? Don't forget to like this video if you found this uh, helpful and subscribe to our channels for more insights. Thanks for watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.